An Ohio man claims he's created a working prototype for a functioning time machine. Mike Brookbank gives us a look as he takes us around town. The movie Terminator 2 is what got Marshall Barnes hooked on time travel. I had problems conceptually with it, like the whole thing going back in time and what that, what that would mean. To find out, this research engineer started working on a space-time dilator transmitter system. When I had this thing on, I put my hand near it you know, to see what it felt like and it, I felt energy there. What Barnes felt was the fan blades grabbing space and okay. contracting so. it. And that's what you have to do in many, in a lot of versions of time travel theories to have time travel happen. As for where his first trip back would be... 1988 New York. Why? Because 1988 New York was very cool. If you'd been there, you knew I was talking about. <laughs> All this talk of time travel inspired me to go back to 1985 and get a new ride. Now, Barnes says you don't need a DeLorean like Marty McFly to achieve time travel, and he says Back to the Future got it all wrong. Back to the Future is a fantasy. If you go back in time, you could marry your mother, okay, if you wanted to. It ain't going to change anything. It would be really creepy, but it would, be, it would not well, change anything. So paradoxes are for storytelling. Paradoxes are not part of science. Is Wayne's world any closer to real-life time travel? Seen that movie? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I knew about the movie. Uh, there's no doo -doo 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 here though. I mean, this is this is like serious stuff. Friday is the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' debut hit "Love Me Do." In honor, TripAdvisor is naming the top 10 Beatles attractions in the world, and Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame makes the list. The museum features a Beatles exhibit with nearly 70 artifacts. Reporting for the list, I'm Mike Brookbank.